Horizons. AZ Off Grid Unplugged. Came over here a little bit early this morning. Usually I wait until I can just see the sun poking up on the eastern horizon out the window of the RV before I decide to walk over here. But I've been up since 4.15 this morning. It's not even 5 o'clock yet. I thought I'd come over here and see what it's like before sunrise. And of course the dogs are at it again. <laughs> I don't know where they are now, but... Uh, today's a big day. You can almost see. I got two pieces of Unistrut up there yesterday. For the uh, solar panels. That's all I can do until I get either a spotter or help out here. I gave my word to my brother that I wouldn't do anything up there without somebody here to... No, they don't have to help me. But at least be here if I come plopping down like Al Bundy onto the, onto the ground, falling off the roof, so that I wouldn't have to lay there for three weeks. So that's all I can do. I got those two pieces up there. And I got one more on the other side. There's where the sunrise is going to come up. And there's the moon up there. Let's see? Oh, there's a cat. I put some flip flops on or something. Yeah, let's see, I got one more piece up there. And I got more Unistrut down here, along with some gutters. Uh, here comes the wind, yay! And then yesterday, I got new batteries delivered. All because of my very generous brother. When they were down here for Memorial Day, uh, he offered to buy me a whole new solar setup. 24 volt batteries, solar panels, everything. Well, I got him talked down to just some solar panels and some batteries. I, I don't need the whole entire setup. I like the way I, the setup I have. I just need more batteries. So, he's, like I said, very generous. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, we've always loved each other. Uh, we just have never been all that close. He's uh, about eight years older than I am. So he's always you know, been doing his thing. I was 12 years old when he got back from Vietnam. He was a door gunner and a crew chief while he was over there. But he's, uh, he moved down to Dallas when I was living up in Minnesota. And I moved down to Phoenix and he moved to San Diego. <laughs> so then I moved to Tucson and he moved to Las Vegas. So, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes. And there's the puppies. Yeah, hi Remy. Go play with Ruger. And then today, a new refrigerator is coming in. A new bigger refrigerator. It's funny, they called yesterday to verify the appointment. And they wanted to make sure that I maintained at least a six foot social distance. <laughs> it's like, you have no idea how much uh, 
self-isolation I've been doing out here. <laughs> but whatever. At least the refrigerator is coming in. And there's a whole bunch of wire. 4-aught ga four gauge, 2-aught gauge, and some more solar wire. But here's a platform I built for the uh, refrigerator. Got it all painted already. Because when they put the refrigerator on there, I don't want to have to be painted. I'm going to put sides on there later. But look at that cabinet door I built. Which means I took it out of the old green trailer. <laughs> That's my building expertise. So I got that done. Then the only other delivery I'm still waiting on would be for the love seat. Yesterday I got this board stop on here for the screen door. I got kind of spoiled closing the door and never hearing a sound and now I got to put up with that. So, uh, whatever. Go play with Ruger. Go play with Ruger. Remy, go play with Ruger. That box is what those two pieces came in for the door. It's looking to be a beautiful day today, except for the wind, a breezy. High about 103. But today should be the last day of the breezy, windy conditions. Starting tomorrow, high pressure is moving in. It'll be up to 107 in a few days. by the sunlight in the background it's not even 6 a.m. yet we're already starting Teacher Ruger, teacher. Now you understand completely why there's absolutely no grass or anything growing around here anymore. <laughs> this should be another beautiful day here. It's going to be a little windy. Well, there's the refrigerator on the stand. 11.6 cubic foot. It's perfect on there. And look at this. How nicely that opens and closes. 
It, uh, it only draws about, uh, about 90 watts. And here's all the batteries all connected together. I connected them in series, which makes them 12 volts, like with the uh, one wire in between here and there, one positive to one negative. That makes it a 12 volt. I let them sit for a full day. And they came out and I hooked up the, the parallel cables, make them into a big battery bank, 12 volt, 1800 amps. So almost 900 amps usable. So, so waiting, was planning on moving over the charge controller and all that stuff today. I woke up this morning and my back said, nope, boy, you ain't doing nothing today. So, it's been kind of a relaxing day. How are you doing, puppy? How are you doing? That's a good Remy. That's a good Remy. Yeah. <laughs> I just love looking at our... Yeah, thank you. That's enough. That's enough. Ruger's hurting today. Chasing some cows this morning about 12.30. And all of a sudden he quit. So I don't know if he stepped on something or the cow kicked him or what. The stupid cow was walking right through the property. And Remy was having a fit. Barking up a storm. <laughs> 